In this video, we will show you how to replace your serpentine belt, the tensioner, and your idler pulley. Let's get started. To remove the alternator, you're going to have to remove the right front axle. With that said, safely raise and support the front of the vehicle so the wheel's off the ground. After you've done that, continue on to removing all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts and then the wheel. Now let's make our way under here and remove this plastic cover. For this, you're going to find that you have two eight millimeter headed mounting bolts. There's one directly above your right front axle. There's a second one, a little bit more further forward. Remove your shield. With that out of the way, you have a nice clear view of your serpentine belt tensioner. That's this area right here. The tensioner itself is spring loaded. So we're gonna come right down to this bottom area with a 15 millimeter wrench. Turn this clockwise. You'll find that it releases the tension from the belt and you can slide it off of one of your pulleys. Slide it right off of the crank pulley. Remove your tool. Before you fully remove your serpentine belt, take a quick note of the belt routing. Now we can remove the belt. Set that aside. Once you have the serpentine belt out of the way, continue on by removing your serpentine belt tensioner. For this, you'll find that you have two 10 millimeter headed mounting bolts holding it in place. Remove the pair. As you remove your final bolt, keep in mind this is the last thing holding your tensioner in place. Remove your tensioner. There it is, friends. With the tensioner out of the way, we'll use a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench to remove our mounting bolt that holds the idler pulley to the engine. Once you have the idler pulley off of your engine, have a look from the back side. You're going to find that it has a spacer. You need to clean and inspect that. Remove the bolt as well with its mounting washer. We'll clean and inspect the threaded area at the same time. For the installation, we're gonna continue on by sliding the mounting bolt through the center. Once you have it through there, continue on along the back side. Looking at the spacer itself, you can tell it has a raised area that protrudes outward. That raised area fits directly into the center of the bearing. Once you have that in position, continue on by sliding this in place in the engine. Snug it up by hand, and then when it's time to torque it, if you can, torque it to 35 foot-pounds. Now that I have this bottomed out, as you can tell, there's minimal area for a torque wrench in here, so I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and tight. Let's get ready to install our brand new tensioner. Take this and put it in place. Once you have it up there, start in both of your mounting bolts, snug them up, and then torque each of them to 18 foot-pounds.
Now it's time to install our serpentine belt. If you need it, there's a picture of the belt routing on the hood. Let's take it and put it all the way up on top above that power steering pulley. You want to make sure it fits into all the grooves on that. Once you have the serpentine belt up and over the power steering pump, bring the forward side down underneath your AC compressor. Hold it in that position. Now we're going to continue on with the rearward side of the belt. For that, you want to come all the way over towards the rear of the engine. Bring it underneath your idler pulley and then up above your alternator. Now we can take it down underneath that tensioner and we're going to bring it all the way over to the water pump. Bring it right up and over that. Now once you have it over the water pump, you're going to go ahead and pull off any slack. Double check to make sure you're over all the pulleys properly. You'll notice some of your pulleys are grooved. You need to make sure you're sitting inside the grooves. Assuming it looks good, let's continue on by sliding this over towards the crank pulley down along the bottom here. Now this is where you're going to have to hold it in place and then continue by releasing tension from the belt on the tensioner. We'll turn that tensioner clockwise to release the tension here. It can be a little bit tight trying to put the belt on over the crank as the last pulley because it has a little bit of a lip right here. If you struggle too much in this area, carefully reach your hands up inside and try to slide it over the water pump as the last pulley. Let's continue on to putting on our splash shield. When we do this, we'll make sure that we use our eight millimeter headed bolts, slide each of them in place and snug them up. Continue on by putting the wheel on. After you have the wheel on there, start on all five of your 19 millimeter lug nuts and bottom those out as well. We'll torque these to 100 foot pounds in a crisscross manner. Torqued. Okay friend, we finished with our job. At this point, hop inside the passenger compartment, start up the vehicle, let it run for approximately five seconds. Turn it off. Make your way right back out here. Double check the belt routing. Make sure you're on all the pulleys properly. Once you've done that, go ahead and start it up and take it for a road test. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.